your seat belts, Mr. Fun's here. <laughs> this is great. Stay for the comedy and get melanoma. I'm trying to go green. I want to get a smart car, but it won't hold a big hooker. And I'm a leg man. If it was a smart car, wouldn't it do things like uh, flip the license plate and give the finger to the red light camera? Might be a smart car. Begin a ticket, put a hot tailpipe up the meter maid's cooch. That would be uh, too dirty. All right. All right. Well, this is great. I've been doing San Francisco comedy for a hundred years. It's fun. You go on the road. Uh, you go to places like Ohio. You're from San Francisco. You must be gay. You're from Ohio. You must be corn. And gay, gay corn. Words have different meanings in different cities, like in Memphis, a hoedown is a musical event. In Oakland, it means a hooker's been shot. A lot of good-looking women here today. It's your lucky day, ladies. I'm no longer infected. So... Someone's gonna get a clean pounding. <laughs> they want to put up a suicide barrier on the Golden Gate Bridge. I'm against that because I'm pro-choice. I yeah. think we should encourage them. You jump off the bridge, no toll. Put up a diving board, a water temperature sign. Get rid of these people because they're always in front of me. <laughs> Someone stole my identity, now he has no life. <clears throat> I read that 15% of Americans are dyslexic, 15% I thought, wow, just over half. <laughs> that was cute, wasn't it? So I do that joke, I was going to do that joke on Letterman a few months ago, they go over your material, they say, oh, we can't do that, we don't want to offend dyslexics, Severin Sophie said. Hey, if they write letters, they're not going to get the address right. <laughs> I'm sick of the internet. It's very sexist. Have you noticed that? Every day I get like 100 emails for penis enlargers. I've never gotten one for a vagina shrinker. Oh my God, he's offending the squirrels. <laughs> Well, fall is here, and like you, my thoughts turn to death. Wouldn't it be neat if you knew what day you're going to die, but not the year? Yeah, I'm probably the oldest guy here in the park. Enjoy your health. I'm getting all kind of health issues. I've had a small lump on my testicle. The doctor said, you moron, that is your testicle. <laughs> Kaiser. So, uh, <laughs> Kaiser, as we like to call it, the death panel. <laughs> he says, I need a list of all the women you've had sex with recently. I'm thinking, oh, do I have a disease? He goes, no, but if you get them in bed, I know I can. <laughs> Told him I want to die with dignity. He gave me a tie. <laughs> Never trust a doctor when you're getting a prostate exam. He's got both hands on your shoulders. <laughs> the weatherman said it would be a triple-digit day. All right. So my doctor gets me so depressed. I go right next door to the therapist. She listens for five minutes and says, Larry, maybe life isn't for everyone. They got their little philosophy. Larry, you gotta follow your dreams. I said I should bang my neighbor's wife. <laughs> Appreciate the little things in life, like an unexpected acquittal. <laughs> well, you look depressed. I can put you on Prozac, but I gotta warn you, it's gonna slow down your sex drive, yeah. Slow down my sex drive? That's like putting a leash on a turtle. Give me the pills. <laughs> Sex drive. Right now, I couldn't get laid in a woman's prison with a fistful of pardons. <laughs> what am I, the number one cause of vaginal dryness? <laughs> oh my god. Well, 
Yeah, and I keep... St Every time I turn on TV is an ad for Viagra. Oh my God, my friend got something and goes, Hey, you want to try this? Give me Viagra. It's like giving a homeless man a doorbell. It's like giving a meth head white strips. Some men have reported a six-hour erection. The only thing going through my mind was six-hour erection. Christ, I'm going to break my wrist. <laughs> Did the Viagra work? Yeah, I got carpal tunnel. I'm available for children's parties. Thanks for coming out. Ah. Area. Ladies and gentlemen,